we have here Dan. Hi there. Dan, which army do you play? I'm playing goblins, because you have to play goblins. I've never played Kings of War. I, I'm an old Warhammer Fantasy Battles player, loved it, and have been really interested in Kings of War, so I'm really excited to be able to give it a try. All right, and you're facing Chris. Hello. Chris, uh, have you played Kings of War before? Not against an actual person. Not against a natural person. So. Uh, which army did you take? I have the dwarves. Do you have... I'm, I'm really wondering where my mountains are because uh, I'm a dwarf and... Oh, and darn! Field. No heels! There's, there's oh. no... Uh, the dwarves were complaining while putting together a front line of snipers, artillery and heavy weaponry. And so did the goblins. The King's Chariot did a wonderful job keeping the ironclads and the shield breakers busy. The Iron Guards and Berserker put a strong stop to any advance in the center. And the ruins were conquered by the goblins. Dan, beginning of turn 3, how do you feel? <laughs> I, I feel like the dwarves are handing it to me so far. I've got units out of place, they need to to find a way to, to contact the enemy before I get wiped out here. I lost a whole unit of, of flea bags over here, flea bag riders, that I was really hoping that were going to provide a, a heavy punch, and I didn't expect him to die that quickly. And so that leaves me over here with my king kind of all alone. He does have some berserker legate things over there, and they're going to try to hold their ground, but they've taken some pretty heavy wounds. Okay. So, and these, uh, this rabble here is just out of place in the back. The king and the luggets were annihilated south of the woods. The rabble couldn't resist a charge of iron guard and berserkers, and the giant killed those rangers beyond the ruins. Tell me, we're uh, starting turn five then. Starting turn five, it's looking awfully grim for the goblins. They have not done well, as a matter of fact, most of their army has been destroyed. It's kind of amazing that these final remaining goblins still plan to charge, but I gotta go for that flank attack because I want all those dice. But the flank attack didn't pop. The only revenge from the spitters came from their pendant of retribution that suddenly killed the berserkers without stopping the dwarven steamroller. Chris, what happened? Basically, because they got a really good matchup on the left flank. Did you freak out at any moment? Um, I was a little disappointed when they exploded at the end and killed the last few. I am, it happened. So, and, and took my berserkers with them. All right. Yeah. What'd you say, Dan? I think that the, uh, the goblins now know where the dwarves are. And so they know the back door, they know the entrance. They're coming back. They're going to come back with a vengeance. Next and time, next time they'll get them. I'll get you next time.